One of my favorite dinners to make is spaghetti carbonara, but it can be a little tricky because you're working with beaten egg and you're using the heat of the pasta to cook the egg. Now, sometimes you run the risk of the egg being undercooked or overcooking it ends up with scrambled eggs. So what I'm going to do is do a chicken carbonara dish for you that includes lots of supermarket shortcuts and uses a special ingredient and no eggs. Let's get started. Now, what we've already done is boiled off our spaghetti. We drained it in a colander but did not rinse it. We want a little bit of that starchiness to help build the sauce. Now, what we're going to do in this skillet is add a little oil and to that some turkey bacon. Now, if you want to use pancetta, real bacon, regular bacon, that's certainly fine. Now, turkey bacon cooks pretty quickly. So all you're really doing here is searing this off, cut it into smaller pieces so it cooks pretty quickly. Now, once we get all of that spread around the pan and it starts to crisp, this is going to add a little texture to your dish along with the chicken. All right, nice and sizzle, smells great. Now, in goes some chicken stock. And then we start building the dish. Let's add in some minced garlic. Another great supermarket shortcut is rotisserie chicken. Again, I buy one or two a week. I love to pull these off the bone and just keep this in a lock and lock container in my fridge for whenever I'm making different recipes. So we're going to add in our rotisserie chicken that's been pulled and shredded. And then here's that magic ingredient that replaces the eggs. This is mascarpone cheese. It's super creamy, it's an easy melting cheese, and it will give this the thickness you need without having to worry about the egg. So we're gonna add this in. Another supermarket shortcut, some frozen peas for some nice color. A little salt and pepper. And now we'll let the heat of the pan heat up that mascarpone. Now all the mascarpone cheese has melted. We let this come to a nice simmer for about 15 minutes. Let it reduce down a bit. Now I'm going to add in the cooked pasta. Now once this pasta goes in, the reason we did not rinse the pasta earlier is because we want any leftover starch on the pasta to help finish thickening the sauce. We'll work this in and just fold that warm sauce into the cooked pasta. The pasta will start to relax with the heat. And once this gets nice and thick, we'll plate it up. All right, so we'll grab a platter. Come up and out, giving that a little bit of a twist and turn to make it extra pretty on the platter. There it is. Oh, this is so good. It's already got your veg in it. It's got your starch. It's got your protein. With the supermarket shortcuts, you were able to make this in record time for the whole family. Serve this with some delightful garlic toast. These are the kinds of meals that are always quick and easy when you know a few supermarket shortcuts. That's the secret of Half Homemade.